All right, y'all, I'm back. So I'm going to go ahead and try to pull these slips uh, like the one guy did in the video. Uh, I think the uh, channel is called Deep South Homestead. And uh, this guy's pretty known for, um, you know, growing sweet potatoes. Uh, he and his wife, Wanda. Wanda. Wanda, I think the name of Wanda. Anyway, so what he do, what he do is just kind of, kind of like shake them out, snap the little, you know, uh, roots, and try to maintain a few roots on the, on the, on the stem, or on the slip, and uh, put them in the bucket to keep it hydrated, and then go transplant it to another section of the garden. I'm gonna go get that try, y'all. Let's see. These things is very, very long. Okay, let's start with them here. Man, that, that don't come out very easy. <laughs> Let me see. All right. So, try this one here. I want to I want to pull the whole potato out the ground so I'm gonna go stick up my own method the method I use just go ahead and pull the sewer back speak up a little louder so y'all can hear me go ahead and pull the sewer back like I usually do okay it's loose it's loose because I already came out here I think yesterday or day before yesterday one of them days and uh, just took a look at it because I kind of thought about it <clears throat> you know what I'm saying go ahead and start I think it was yesterday I thought about uh, coming out here to put his slips out but I got kind of tired so I said forget this I'm going to bed take a nap so that's the potato right there right this is a uh, a white sweet potato okay and these are the roots So what I do is I do it like that, you know, just kind of peel the uh, the dirt back. You know what I'm saying? Peel that dirt back, and then I start snapping them off. That way I can tell, you know, that I'm not pulling the potato out the ground. See how easy that was? Look how big that is. It's a big root. Okay, it's a big old stem. So anyway, let me go ahead and put this inside the bucket. All right, let's grab another one. See, that method there is so easy for me. Now you guys can do it any way you choose to do it. You can try, uh, you can try the guy, the guy method on uh, Deep South Homestead. See how it works for y'all. Or you can try this method here. See that? Nice and simple. Three big, huge ones. Okay. Well. That's four. <laughs> That's five. Some long slips. Still got roots on it, all that's all we need. There's a few roots. I think that's about six. All right, here's the big one, or the biggest one. That's actually uh, kind of hard to pull because it's actually caught up on something. 
But we're gonna break the root, then we'll, we'll kind of mess with that end of it. Mm. Tell you what, let's do it this way. Because as you see, sweet potatoes. You know, they dig themselves. They root easy, you know what I'm saying? So they attach to some dirt. And uh, they start rooting out, you know. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and break it. And just leave that on the ground, I think. See that? Go ahead and snap this here. Oh, man. I pulled the whole thing up. But okay, that's cool. I'm going to deal with that. Hmm. So I brought some scissors out here. Yeah, let me hit pause real fast. Go grab them. Grab some scissors and cut it. All right, I'm back, y'all. I brought some more water out here. Because uh, I didn't put enough in there. So get some more. Can't have this slip to dry out. All right, so I got my scissors. And uh, throw them jokers right down the ground. Let's see. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to leave this, you know, where it's attached to the ground, right? Leave it in there and ask you to see if it'll grow sweet potatoes. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut it right there. Mm -hmm. And as y'all see, we have more here that's attached to the ground, okay? It's attached right in this area here, right there, right there. So I'm gonna cut right in front of it. Cut it right here. Can y'all see that? Right yonder, okay? <clears throat> all right so cut that back let's get back over here Kind of pull it down on it. Let us separate that. Pull it down on it. A little bit easier. Now, with all these roots here, oh man, they're gonna put out a lot of potatoes. Put that in the bucket. So, got a couple of more here. See, you have here, right where my finger is, that is the back of the sweet potato, right? So you want to cut about an inch off the uh, sweet potato. Because supposedly the part where I'm rubbing right here, that part can be... Uh, what is it? Say? It can be, it can get infected, something like that. So <laughs> that may not be the right word for it. But anyway, so I'm gonna cut here, which is about an inch or two off of it. Just make sure I keep some roots. I don't want to clip the roots, so I'm gonna go up on over here, just like that. Okay. Put that in the water. And there's one. Cut it. Let's 
So, as you see, the potato is still in good shape. Therefore, it can still put out some energy. Meaning that that potato is going to grow a lot more slips in due time. So, I'm going to leave that potato here in this ground for at least a few more months. And uh, see what happens. Pull this dirt back over there. Or push this dirt back over there. Now, I do have other videos showing me uh, transplanting uh, sweet potato slips, both from inside the house, out of uh, jars with water inside of it, and transplant transplanting from the soil. So, I'll go ahead and throw them links up so you guys can refer to those videos if you like to. Alright, so anyway, cover up cover her back up very nice just like that okay okay now so we're done with that one right done with that one so let's take a look see that was the most that was most of the slips right there from that white white potato so so that I don't get so that I don't get the slips mixed up because the other two potatoes are orange potatoes on some potatoes so what do I want to do I think what I'm going to do these things are long right I noticed that they the uh, white super potato slips are a lot longer than the orange super potato slips therefore let me show y'all what I'm going to do with this where I'm going to relocate it in the garden like these big jokers over there Okay, Let's see if we can't hear it that way. Take a trip to the other side. She's moving, she's moving up, moving to the east side. All right, so. We're gonna take these things and put them right here. Okay, put them right over here. I don't know what this is. Yeah. Maybe it's medicinal. I don't know. So I may leave it. I don't know. Okay. Now let's pull this grass out from around here. Some of it, not all of it. Some of it. Just to clean her up a bit. So the wild grass, I tend to move it out of the way. All right, but with the uh, the dandelions, I don't like to get rid of the dandelions. So whenever dandelions are growing, like here, okay, I go and leave those in the garden, right there. Hopefully, I can work around it. Rocks out the way. Them jokers right over there. Put those jokers right over yonder. All right. It's supposed to rain today. I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do after I transplant these sweet potato slips, I'm going to hydrate this soil again. Last time I hydrated it was uh, Friday night. Friday late night. Like, 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. something like that. Out the very late workout. Anyway, so we're gonna put this stuff right here in this area. All right. Let me get my little shovel over here. It might make it a little bit easier for me. Let me try to reposition this camera. All right, got it repositioned. Let's see if 
Oh, I can't get it over here. So we're gonna put these things about. I'm gonna have mine kind of closer. We go like 10 inches apart. I don't have my uh, measuring tape, so I'm gonna go ahead and just guess at it. Okay. Hope y'all can hear me and see me pretty good. Cause I didn't reverse the uh the camera so I can't see. I can't tell if y'all can see me or not. So I'm just kind of lifting the dirt up. Just to kind of make it a lot softer. I'm gonna go up here and pull this out. I don't know what this is. I put it out anyway. So kind of loosen the, the soil up. That way it make it more manageable. I can work with it. So as far as depth, we're gonna probably go about uh, maybe five inches deep, maybe six. So, we're going to do about maybe three rows. We do one row here of the white two potatoes. We got fire and salt in this, in this dirt. So, excuse me if I get this jumping. <laughs> okay, because them suckers bite. They don't feel too good neither. One, two, three, okay. All right. I'm gonna attempt to make a heel or a row. Maybe about 12 inches wide. Don't want the dirt to be, don't want the uh, soil to be too compact. You never want compact soil when you're trying to grow anything. That way the roots can, uh, can uh, they can uh, thrive better, you know. You don't have to worry about being stretched out. You know, stress and put too much energy out energy out so all right Okay. All right. 
right, that's all transparent. Transplanting, that's uh, I guess we start right here on this side. And work our way to the opposite side. So, we're gonna go about six inches deep. deeper so yeah about six that's one I'm gonna use my hand probably come about 10 inches apart when I think about it I said we're gonna go about I said we're gonna do two rows but I don't know okay because uh, by the look of it, I'm not working with very much garden space, so. Do the best I can. Get them kind of close together. Get about five of them on this side here. So we got about what? How many we got left? We got two left. We got three left. Okay. Three of them left. Now we got four left. Got a small one here. So we put about what? Nine total? Now, with this, we're gonna put it about, uh, we'll come halfway here. And now uh, we're just gonna go ahead and throw it in here. Start a second row. I do have a uh, a garden rake for this here, but it's all right. This is just this is good. 
I don't mind a little hard work, people. So this is just as good. All right, so let's go about uh, let's go a few inches here. So we we'll go here. So, as I say, 10 inches apart. That two, I'm kind of tangled up. Two, I'm tangled up. be best buds with each other so we'll put them close together Now these uh, super tether slips are probably going to wither up. I mean the foliage is probably going to wither up for the first few days. Let's see, that's three, right? Five. So. I'm going to wither up for the first few days, and then they'll go ahead and fill back out and look a lot healthier. I thought I had another here. Thought I had nine total, but did I lose count? I don't know what happened. I thought I seen four more, did I? Maybe it was three. Well, okay, cool. All right, then. Oh, here we go. Yeah, no, it's all another one. Okay, so let's get this one in here. A little small one. That was probably the last one we pulled from this side over there. Okay. All right. So we got that taken care of. So Hope y'all seen all that. So anyway, we have enough space for about one more over there, and then about five more here, at least five more here, so uh, about six more, so we'll just snap off about six. Uh, more slips from the orange potatoes. Orange potatoes. All right, let me set this camera down. y'all can see me see what I'm doing here 
So same thing with this here. We're gonna go ahead. Use my hand to just, you know what, let me see. I only got three slips over here, but I don't want to break them, so. Look at that, see that? Y'all see that? Potatoes growing already over there, over here. Tell you what, let me see some. Okay, that potato right there already grown. I don't want to really disturb the soil too much, so we can go ahead and uh, cut this one off because it's attached to the ground. Don't want to uh, disto uh, disturb the, uh, the roots too much, so then rather go ahead and pull the dirt back. Just go ahead and do a boy method. Oh, we got potatoes growing up on there, y'all. Look at that. Okay. Yes. Yep. Put this in water. Get nice and hydrated. Alright, let's uh scoot over here. See how this side looks. That was uh awesome potatoes. Yeah, they might do pretty good this year. I think that may be good. One thing about this life, you can't stress out about getting dirty. That's why we got showers inside the house, right? So, all right, do it like that. See this side here, you can tell it came off the potato. See that side there? I'm gonna go and cut that off. About an inch. Okay. We have enough roots left over to grow some potatoes. So that's three slips. I'm being very careful with this. With the orange potatoes because I as we see that they're already starting to grow potatoes I don't want to detach the potatoes from the from the roots so this method is working on this side just putting them out the ground just like so Cut that off. So we're gonna need it, what, five, no, six. I think all we have this is about, can y'all see that? Sorry about that, y'all couldn't see me. Could you? So anyway, let's go ahead and pull this one off too. Came out nice and easy. I don't want the potato to come out the ground. So I'm going to stick my scissors down there. And just cut right there. Okay. Alright. This area is cleared out for the time being. Hopefully these potatoes put out some more energy. Uh, I noticed that it didn't have as many slips this year as it had last year. 
but it has longer slips this year than it had last year. That's cool. All right, take y'all back on the other side again. Let y'all see the side here. Since she's all cleared up, see that? Only thing we have left is uh, those uh, uh, two or three vines that kind of attach themselves to the ground. So let's get, get back on this side over here. Finish this thing out. That's it that there. All right. So let me see. Let me figure out where to put this camera at. I'll tell you what, y'all seen enough already uh, with the transplanting of the white potato slips. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let y'all go for just a second. And I'll go ahead and transplant this here and just bring y'all back so y'all so can see the final uh, results. Y'all hold your horses. I'll be back in a minute. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> All right, so this is the uh, the final results, the finish, and uh, it don't look so good right now. But I'll give it about another week, and uh, she'll start looking a whole lot better. So we have a little space here. Uh, this is the uh, the first one on this row here, or the last one from that side. We can put one more here uh, once we grow it. And then we may be able to go ahead and put some here. Right down there, y'all. We may be able to do that. I don't know. So, uh, let's go ahead and pour this water on here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my hose. Get my water hose and go ahead and get it nice and hydrated. So they won't wither up too much. So they won't be too stretched out trying to get hydrated uh anyway so i think i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go ahead and do that first i'm gonna go do that first uh again this is the area we started with and uh, these are the little ends i cut off and i said earlier that uh i don't know what i say uh infected i think i use what infected i didn't mean infected i meant diseased Okay, so allegedly, supposedly, you know, the uh, the parts that's right against the part that's right against the uh, potato, it can be uh, diseased. So that's why I cut that one inch off to prevent that from happening. Okay, all right. So let me get my water hose. It's going to rain uh, sometime today, but you know. This weather nowadays can kind of be kind of deceptive, kind of confusing. You know, we deal with weather modification. So, things can change at any minute. Okay, so let me get this uh, water hose and hydrate that side. And I'll bring y'all back when I get to pick some beans, some chard, and some kale. Alright, check y'all in. I'll see y'all in a minute.